my dear students how can you find out the acceleration of these two blocks let us discuss here first of all uh, let us imagine that this is a heavier block it comes down with an acceleration a then what is the acceleration of this smaller block let us see here so to find out that you should take one identity tension what is that tension and acceleration is going to be constant so tension of this larger block is taken as 2t, acceleration of this larger block is a, tension on the smaller block is t, acceleration of the smaller block is a, yes. So you can just cancel this one. That means acceleration of a smaller block is 2a. That means the smaller block moves upwards with an acceleration of 2a and heavier blocks moves down with an acceleration of a. If you know this, then it's very simple that there is a logical explanation that anything comes down that means tension will become 4m into g minus a okay when something goes down tension is equal to m into g minus a when something goes up tension is equal to m into g plus a up means plus down means minus then let us see what is going to happen so this is having tension 2t and mass is 4m as it is going down g minus a so 2 ones, 2 twos, tension will become 2m into g minus a. Now this block if you consider, it is moving upwards. So tension is equal to m into g plus 2a because it's having tension 2a. So tension into 2a, that's it. So that's why, what I'm going to do now here, this is also tension, this is also tension. Both are giving same equation. Let them be equal. Let us make them equal. That means you can write like this. Here, you can just write 2m into g minus a is equal to m into g plus 2a. You can make them equal. Now, this is going to be 2mg minus 2mA is equal to mg. So, mg plus 2mA. That's it. What I'm going to do here, just see. So here, 2m, this mg and mg. So 2m here goes to that side, mg comes to this side. 2mg minus mg is equal to 2ma plus 2ma. Therefore, this is going to be mg and this is going to be 4ma. Therefore, mm gets cancelled. Acceleration is equal to g by 4. So acceleration of the larger block, if you observe, it is going to be g by 4. And this is two times of that. This is two times of that means uh, 2 into g by 4, which is nothing but g by 2. So smaller uh, mass is having an acceleration of g by 2. Larger mass is having an acceleration of g by 4. So simple it is. Thank you very much.